do. One of the biggest things is we're gonna finally get this go-kart running. I really hope so. It runs right now, but I mean driving because you need to get the pedals hooked up to the brakes and the gas. Uh, I don't know if we'll get the brakes hooked up today. We might just try to ride it up and down the driveway without them. See how that goes because I don't know where the pad is because I have the drum, but we need to clean up a bunch of this junk because there's just too much. And I want to be able to work on the go-kart without pulling the Jeep out every time because it's just, it's not really anything hard to do, but it's preferenced for me. So first things first, we're going to clean up all this crap. <laughs> All right, so now that we cleaned up a little bit, we can start working on the go-kart. Uh, should say, uh... So, we're gonna be doing the gas and brake lines today. Uh, I don't know if the brake will be hooked up, but the gas will be. And we just have these basic, like, bicycle lines, because they just work fine. So we'll definitely have that together, that's the easy part. But the hard part will be doing the springs and trying to figure out a way for the pedals to get go back in their place. You know, like, as you press it, so you don't want the gas to get stuck or anything. For the gas line, that's what we're gonna be doing first. There's this little nut on the throttle and there's just like a little screw that goes into that and you put the cable through it so that whenever you press the gas, it'll pull on that, which pulls on the throttle and it'll rev but it was kind of busy and loud and stuff so i don't know if they're good or not but yeah today we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing the gas lines for the go-kart and if we have time because i got more stuff to do today but if we have time uh we might go look for bumpers a new bumper for the jeep which would be kind of sweet so we don't have to mess with that old one because it's pretty bad but yeah so yesterday we moved this piece from here to there because the way that the lines were, they were interfering with the steering system. So we put it on the edge so that it can just run down the side. And we're gonna use, I'm thinking about using one of these, these giant poles, because this is how it used to work. So I'll use one of those and have it go along the side and cut this tab and put it over here so that it'll have a place to be and then have a spring on it so when you push it, it'll be able to pull back and then have uh, one of those bicycle lines coming off of that to go through the back and then connect to this and I can put the line through here so it doesn't move. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to take that tab off and put it on the other side so that the line or the like metal line can go through it. because it fits perfectly and I'm just gonna grind down the edges and weld it onto underneath this tab which is for the seat so that it's like out of the way and I don't have to cut anything else in case I want to go back to that one So my camera actually died, but I went ahead and welded that piece on and went and did the whole pedal. So now when you push this, this spring tightens and then it'll be able to come back on its own. Uh, I made another spring like this 
which are similar to the ones you can buy. They go on the pedal, but I forgot I already had that one, and that one works way better in my opinion. Uh, it's just not, the pedal's not as stable, but if, if my foot's on it, it'll be fine while I'm riding it. But if it does cause a problem, I can just add another piece to block it from springing back or springing too far forward. But yeah, now all I need to do is put the bicycle cable on, and I'm just gonna run it from here and zip tie along the frame and then put it in there and then just attach it to the throttle and we'll be done. And uh, my dad is checking right now if there's, if there's actually an antique go-kart place that we might go to. He's gonna check if that place is open and for the bumper for the Jeep. But yes, I think we'll have time today, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and finish this up. cable on and now it's all hooked up here you just screw in the wire here and this is to hold down the uh, rubber piece so that the line can go freely through it and now so when you push the pedal this spring pulls it back and right there the wire pulls on that and the wire goes around so every time I push this pedal the throttle moves and there's a spring on the throttle already so you don't need you don't even need to worry about that. It'll go back on its own. Yeah, we're not going to start it today because I think, you know, doing it without the brakes. Oh, I don't even have a seat. That's why we're not going to start it. Yeah. But we might be able to get one today. If we can get one today, then next video, it'll be probably, we'll probably be able to start it next video. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and see if we can head to the go-kart and the Jeep bumper place. All right, so we are headed to the to a flea market uh, down the street. It, they have a bunch of antique go-kart parts. I haven't been there yet, but my dad has. So we're gonna see what they have. And it should be pretty easy to film because it's just a flea market. But uh, hopefully they have some cool stuff. Um, it'd be really sweet if we could find another go-kart to get like an antique one. Because he said they were antique racing carts. But we'll see. I'll show you guys when I get there. All right, so unfortunately, we went to the place that had all the go-kart parts and someone had bought every go-kart that they had. So there's nothing there. There's just a couple tires that were really old and crappy. But hopefully next video we can get the brakes done on the go-kart so that we can actually drive it for a little bit. And I'm gonna order a seat because I just need to get one now. Yeah, we might be able to go to the, the four-wheel drive off-road place that has the Jeep bumpers and possibly get some other stuff for it because they just have a lot of truck stuff which would be fun. Uh, we'll probably do that next video. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next video.